What's up guys, Skid and Rampage here. So today we have more Funko news with Marvel What If Funko Pops finally being revealed. We have a first look, well, early looks at the new Loki Pops, Loki Gator coming soon. As well guys, as we do have a 10 inch Galactus Blacklight Pop. That's insane and much more. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so in this Funko news, I do want to put a little warning in, you know, before I actually go into some of these pops is the Loki pops. I'm probably going to talk about last night's episodes, a little bit of spoilers, and I will put a spoiler warning a little later and a little timestamp to go to. But just letting you guys know that I probably will. Um, I'll talk about the characters a little bit more and then talk about the actual episode probably after. Um, so just stay tuned for that if you guys want to hear my thoughts on the episode and everything like that. Um, as well, guys, as the Marvel What If Pops, I mean... It's not necessarily spoilers because I guess Marvel just put out a trailer today if you want to go watch that. Um, but anyways, guys, we do have a lot of stuff to go over today that I want to talk about. A lot of cool Marvel stuff and a lot of cool just stuff in general. So that's what we're going to be going over in this video today. So if you're new here, stick around, subscribe, click that notification bell. Um, if you have not yet, make sure to turn that on so you know when videos are coming out. So the first thing I want to talk about, guys, is the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pops. So we had a ton released today. These have been rumored and teased for a while now. Uh, so we got four, the original four turtles, obviously. Um, so it was a little weird because Funko announced them as the animation line on their Instagram, but then the boxes say movies. So and I'm pretty sure these are from the movies. So, you know, a lot of people are a little confused, but yes, I believe they're from the movies, not animation as Funko kind of announced them as. I don't know. Anyways, guys, so we have Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo here. And Michelangelo, Michelangelo was actually funny holding donuts there, which I found, you know, I just found it a little funny to me. Uh, but they look great. They don't look crazy different from the previous wave, I will say, but I don't know. I, I, you can't really do too much more with the Ninja Turtles here unless you're putting them in action poses. But still, pretty cool. Donatello is just kind of standing there. Uh, Leonardo is in action pose. Raphael is kind of in a fighting pose. And then Michelangelo just kind of holding donuts. That's about it. <laughs> um, and then we do have a bunch of villains here, guys. Um, so we do have Super Shredder, Super Shredder, Target exclusive uh, Metallic, as well as we have the Shredder with Weapon, Glow in the Dark, Funko Shop exclusive. As well as, guys, we do have uh, Taka there. I believe that Taka or Toka, excuse my pronunciation, as well as uh, Razar. Um, I'm probably pronouncing these really badly. I have not heard of the bottom two villains. I obviously know who Shredder is, but I have not heard of the bottom two villains there. Um, but still, pretty solid pops, guys. They went all out with Shredder. I believe there was a rumored tenant Shredder as well. Um, maybe, I guess that didn't turn out to be true, um, but we did get three new Shredder Pops, which is really cool. Um, and then checking them out of box, guys, you do have the Turtles here, um, just out of box here as well. And then you do have the, um, the villains out of box as well. And look at that glow on Shredder. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, you got the green glow on a, some parts of his armors, the eyes, and then like the mass just like ventilation portion, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. But it is pretty solid. I really do like that glow. Um, Funko Shop exclusive. Stay tuned for that one, guys. Target exclusive, I don't think has gone live yet, to my knowledge. But all of these commons are available um, over at Kraken's Collection if you guys want to grab them. Um, they do have like a little bundle going on. And speaking of Kraken's Collection, guys, they actually released their newest exclusive uh, fig pin, which is really awesome. So we have Iron Fist here, which is limited to 2,000 pieces. This one is releasing on July 14th at 10 a.m. PT time. So if you are looking for this one and you want to collect a really cool pin that is super limited, uh, make sure to be on their website at that time. Um, it does look pretty cool. Um, Iron Fist, I did enjoy the actual Netflix TV series they had, and then I remember seeing him a little bit in some, uh, ooh, it was a Spider-Man animated series off the top of my head. He, like, appeared in there, and I can't think of which one it was off the top of my head. Oh, uh, I don't know. I've seen a lot of the animated series Spider-Man ones. Anyways, guys, it looks pretty solid. You have, um, just him kind of in a fist, like, punching action poses, what I'm trying to say. You have the dragon on the front there. This looks really cool. Um, so they, this is part of, like, a little, um, I don't talk about fig pins too often, but, um, this was their newest, like, exclusive, and I thought it was pretty exciting. Anyways, guys, they, uh, this is part of, like, a new classic Marvel, um, outfit wave that their, um, uh, fig pin has coming out, and it appears that one of them ended up being Kraken's, uh, exclusives, which was really cool. So if you guys want to grab this one... July 14th, 10 a.m. PT, stay tuned. Next up, guys, for the Marvel slash Galactus fans, this one was a crazy announcement today. We had a 10-inch Galactus release, guys, and he was a black light. Oh, this is insane. So it has that big squarish box instead of the tall, like, rectangular one. 
This is nuts, guys. So it has a chase on it, which is nuts. So you have um, you have the normal one, uh, with it, which has the silver surfer there, like yellow and kind of blue and orange on the side. And then you have the chase version that is essentially... Essentially, the chases are just kind of swapped with different colors uh, mixed up um, on the actual Silver Surfer and Galactus Pops. It's like essentially the colors swapped on each character, which is really nice. And I love the orange, vibrant looking um, black light kind of glow ish on that um, chase variant. I think that's really awesome. I feel like. I feel like these ones look like glow pops, so I think it would have been cool to give it a glow chase sticker. Obviously, they're not, but I think it would have been cool to give it, or maybe some kind of like black light chase, like custom sticker to it. I thought that would have been really neat. Anyways, guys, that Galactus looks absolutely insane. The orange, black, um, you know, shades, and then you also have the pink and um, blue and yellow eyes, which look great. They do so great on these black light pops and you know when this one i didn't really feel like they went overboard with this one i mean yes it's a 10 inch pop it's crazy it's the first 10 inch black light pop and then there's like a rumored hulk one coming as well guys but i thought this was incredibly detailed i think they did a really good job and i can't wait to see it you know actual inbox pictures which is really nice and this thing sold out like crazy everywhere especially the chase bundles absolutely nuts um absolutely love how they did this i think it's beautiful and i hats off to funko for this one because this this is crazy for blacklight probably one of the best ones to date i'd say ghost rider was really good um you still have the alice in wonderland ones that i have no idea what's going on with those um that are still rumored to be coming soon but this is probably the best Blacklight Pop to date. Definitely beats the um, Blacklight Ghost Rider for sure. But that one's still selling for like a lot. But this one was funny. Once it sold out, all the chase bundles, everything sold out. You have like people doing a one in six chase chance on eBay for like $100 to $150. And then the actual chase people have listed for like $350. And the bundles for like $500. i am like, whoa, $500. $500 for this. I'm like, that's insane. If you literally go on eBay right now, you'll see these crazy um, sale listings and probably some sold listings by now. It's been a couple hours. But this is absolutely nuts. Like, this is a crazy pop. Does it deserve at least... I would say this one deserves to be at least in the $100 to $150 range for the chase. I don't know about $350. I think that's absolutely insane. But it's a crazy black light pop. First of its kind for 10 inch. It's the biggest 10 inch black light pop to date or biggest black light pop today is what I'm trying to say. And I love it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Um, if I had somewhere to put this, I'd probably buy it, but I don't, I, I don't. And there's so many other pops that I'm gonna be talking about in this video that I want. So I definitely don't have the space. Anyways, guys, um, I'm kind of glad because I wanted to buy the other Galactus, okay? The other 10 inch one, and I wanted to review it when it first like was coming out, um, when it was first available for pre-order. Then I was like, eh. I don't think I don't think this is something anybody personally would care about on my channel, so this would be more so a buy for myself. This one I'm really considering because it's really cool. Bailey was actually looking at Galactus and because she was like, "Whoa, this is cool!" In a comic book shop we were in, and a hunt that I did a while back. Um, and then now it's a 10 inch version, so or a 10 inch blacklight version, so maybe she might want this variant. I'm not entirely sure. We don't. We just don't have space for 10 inch pops like these. These seats are huge, especially the squarish boxes. But for the most part, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Did you guys pick this one up? Did you go for a chase chance or did you buy a chase bundle? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this crazy, crazy black light Galactus pop. For any Corpse Bride fans, guys, we do have a better look at Diamond Collection Emily here, which I believe is a Hot Topic exclusive, but is shown with a special edition sticker. Uh, so thank you, Pop Holmes Discord, for this image. Really, really cool pop. I love the uh, diamond all over her hair. I think that's really awesome. And I believe the little flowers in her hand are diamond and her dress is as well. That's really cool. I feel like they maybe should have made the eye and maybe the teeth there and the worm coming out of her eye. I think that would, I don't know. I think it's overall a really nice pop. Personally, not a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed. I got like 30 minutes into it. I just didn't like it. I, 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 I don't know. I, I just, I don't know why I didn't like that. I didn't really care for Nightmare Before Christmas either. I don't know, like, I don't like all of Tim Burton's films, I guess. I like Alice in Wonderland, which is odd because it's it's the same kind of weird, trippy style, I guess. Um, but Corpse Ride, it just wasn't for me. But it is a very, very popular movie. I'm not bashing it in any way. I'm just saying personally it wasn't for me. Even Bailey, I was surprised Bailey didn't care for this movie or... Um, 
Nightmare Before Christmas either, but she finds stuff like that a little creepy, so that's understandable. Um, but for the most part, guys, stay tuned for this one. It does look really, really good, and comment down below, did you guys pick this one up? Because I believe this was revealed during Funko Fair or Funko Ween? I think it was Funko Ween. But it's a really cool one. Next up, guys, for anybody who did order the Marvel What If Marvel Collector Core box over on Amazon, guess what? It is actually delayed, unfortunately. Um, so it says, hello, greetings from Amazon subscription boxes. We hope you are safe and well. We are writing to let you know that your July Funko Marvel Collector Core subscription box shipment will be slightly delayed due to unforeseeable logistical issues. Uh, we do not have an estimated ship date at this moment, but we'll contact you with the, that information once it becomes available. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and want to assure you that we will still be receiving the July box uh, with the theme, what if, dot, 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 question mark. Uh, thank you for being an Amazon customer. That's really weird. Why would you call it unforeseeable logistical issues? You obviously know what the issue is. Can you give us some, like, oh, the boat fell over, the boat's on fire, it's underwater. Like, give us something, you know? Don't just say unforeseeable logistical issues. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's a cop-out. Um, anyways, guys, I am excited for this box just because I'm very excited for the Marvel What If Wave, which we're going to be showing off in this actual video. Um... It sucks to hear this box is actually delayed because I was excited for this one. Um, I'm also excited for the Year of the Shield box that we haven't seen. Oh, no, no. We already did that. What am I talking about? I literally unboxed it on the channel. I am all over the place lately. Jeez. We did that. We did that one that had the Nomad Steve Rogers and the... I have them right there. And the... Uh, I don't even know where the other one is. Where did you go? Where did you... I don't know where I don't know where the uh, World War II Captain America, Ultimate Captain America went. Anyways, um, but yeah, it sucks that this is delayed. But I wanted to update you guys for anybody wondering about this. Um, you should probably get an email from Amazon. This was probably widely blasted to everybody who did order the box. I have it on an automatic subscription, so um, probably you won't see this one if you were interested in What If Line. Probably you won't see this one uh, go back up for sale for a couple months now because they aren't even giving us a date because it was supposed to release in about three weeks, I'd say. So now we could be waiting three months, three years, probably not. It's just, I'm just being dramatic. But yeah, guys, I just want to give you an update that it is delayed and stay tuned and I'll update you guys if we ever get a new date. And speaking of Marvel What If Pops, guys, we do have the new Marvel What If Wave released actually by Marvel. Funko has not announced these yet, to my knowledge, on their Twitter. I was looking, but I don't think they've announced them yet. Um, but yes, I did find these on the actual Marvel, like, what if page, like, whatever announcements for their new toys and collectibles and things like that. So the first one we have is Captain Carter here, which is essentially Peggy Carter if she became Captain America. Um, solid looking pop, so there are two versions of her, and we're going to go over all the exclusives in a second. Um, but this one is where she's kind of like just posing there, stepping on a rock as a little action pose, essentially. Um, then we also do have a Gamora as the Mad Titan, essentially, if Gamora was Thanos, essentially. Uh, we have T'Challa as um, Star-Lord there with the mask. I love that purple and gold. I think it looks so great. Um, essentially, Black Panther was Star-Lord instead of Chris Pratt. Isn't that, I mean, it's not Chris Pratt. It's Star-Lord, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm stumbling on my own words. And then we do have uh, Doctor Strange as Sorcerer Supreme. So we actually saw some up-close pictures of some of these that I showed in a recent Funko um, news. But this freaking Doctor Strange looks great as the Sorcerer Supreme. I think he looks amazing. The dark eyes of the purple just gets me every time. He looks demonic almost. Very creepy. Uh, then we do have Iron Steve Rogers there as a super-sized pop. So essentially, it's just... Steve Rogers, if he wasn't Captain America, and ends up in a um, Iron Man type suit, kind of kind of like Iron Monger, but probably not as advanced. <laughs> um, but for the most part, guys, or maybe more advanced. I don't know with this one. Anyways, guys, solid solid Cobman line. I will say um, I'm very excited for the Captain Carter one the most, uh, just because I want to add that to my actual Captain America set that I'm starting, and uh, I'll probably get the Iron Steve Rogers as well. Unfortunately, it's a six inch pop, which is a little annoying. I was hoping for a four inch pop of that one, but makes sense. It's a bigger pop. It's a bigger character, so it makes sense. Moving on to some of the actual exclusives, guys. We do have a Walmart exclusive Thor there. This one actually came as a surprise. I was not expecting to get a Marvel What If story of Thor. I haven't watched the trailer yet. I watched the teaser before that, but I haven't watched the new trailer today. Um, so essentially, this is, a, is if Thor was never found his worthiness for Mjolnir, 
which I found kind of weird because it looks like he's swinging Mjolnir there, Mjolnir in his hand, and he's holding a chalice. So this is like a party Thor, essentially. Um, there's no common variant, just a Walmart exclusive. I found that kind of weird. That's what I read on Marvel's website, anyways, about the what-if story. Maybe this is a different what-if character. Um, but to my understanding, this was if Thor never found his worthiness and just became a party animal and... That's essentially what it is. He's even in different armor, um, which is cool. But moving on, guys, we do have a box lunch exclusive. Um, also another T'Challa or Star-Lord, whatever. Um, and essentially the only difference between those two is I believe the box lunch exclusive one is metallic for anybody wondering. So it's really up to you if you want to decide which one you want. Uh, then we do have Killmonger there, King Killmonger. So essentially if, um, I guess if he won the fight, against T'Challa and he became king. So it looks like he is holding um, Ultron's head there potentially or some kind of bot. It looks like Ultron. It's a Target exclusive if you do want to um, look for this one. Uh, then we do have a FYE exclusive. They went all out with T'Challa, gave him three variants. Um, we have the, you know, T'Challa as Black Panther there, or as Star-Lord, excuse me, so many names floating in my head right now. FY exclusive without the helmet, no action pose. Um, then we have the GameStop exclusive slash EB Games exclusive, uh, Captain Carter, which is essentially just her in a different pose, not showing the shield. It's the shield off to the side, like she's getting ready to run or something. Uh, then we do have the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark, um, Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange, which is all glow. I love that orange glow on him. I wish more glowed in the dark, but I love the orange glow. It's a pretty solid glow. So if I pick one up, I'd probably pick up the Amazon exclusive one versus the common. Because, you, you, I mean, you essentially get the same detail either way. Just one is an added glow, which is nice. And the price difference isn't really that much. Um, but for the most part, guys, it is a solid Marvel What If line. Like, I, it was more than I was expecting. And I'm very, very satisfied with it, personally. Um, I probably won't be getting all of them, personally. But... I am curious to see how that Thor looks in person. I am definitely going to be getting... I'm probably going to get the common over the GameStop exclusive. I like the common better because it shows the shield and her stepping on the rock. It's just a cooler pose to me personally. Um, or whatever I find first, maybe. But I would prefer the common. Then we do have the... Um, the Iron Steve Rogers, which I am kind of interested in. I got to see that one in person to see if I want to add it just because... It's a bigger pop, and I don't really care too much for six-inch pops unless it's a character I absolutely love, kind of like Karama or um, Jiraiya on Toad, or you, you guys get where I'm going with this. Um, but for the most part, guys, this Marvel What If line, I think Funko went all out with this. I'm very, very pleased with it. So thank you, Funko. All right, guys, so the last thing I want to talk about is the brand new Loki Funko Pop. So these ones have not been officially announced by Funko yet. These are actual real pops. They were, I think, announced by Marvel, and this is where all these images came from. Um, and Funko just hasn't announced yet. They did tease it on their Twitter, but I believe it's supposed to be announced tomorrow. Not entirely sure why they tease it today and then just announce it tomorrow. But they teased a little alligator emoji, thus teasing Loki. And then now their Twitter comments are just full of the pops that they're teasing for tomorrow. I'm sure they're upset. I, I would be upset, I guess. Um... Because it's like, you're trying to tease something and then it's just flooded. But, you should have known. Marvel's already released it, so you might as well release it today. It's weird to do a teaser when they're already out there. That's just me. Anyways, we do have four new Loki Pops coming soon. Uh, so the first one we have is President Loki here, which looks pretty funny. Um, I actually saw, I forget who made this concept, but somebody made a concept from the trailer not too long ago. Well, actually, weeks ago. Um, and this was really cool. I would prefer him to have his open arms, but... Crossed arms is cool as well. Uh, then we do have, he even has like a little ripped pant leg, which is funny. Then we do have the infamous alligator Loki, um, Loki Gator, or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's a cute pop. It really is. I felt like it was just kind of weird. I was, it, it was weird and unexpected in the episode to say the least, but it's a pretty funny pop. It, it is funny overall. Bailey finds it really adorable and everybody finds it really adorable. Then we do have the classic Loki here, um, with the well, classic suit. He was a really cool character. Um, so they actually did already have a pop of this, just younger Loki um, in this classic suit. And it's actually started to go up in value a little bit. And I talked about this in a video two days ago. So you guys can check that out if you want. Um, then we also do have Kid Loki with his little sword here, which is cool. And then you can even see the uh, little baby gator or baby Loki or gator Loki, essentially alligator Loki on his back there kind of peeking around. It's a really, really cool um, new Loki wave. I like the President Loki, I think, out of all of them. Um, and then I do have the original classic Loki Marvel pop 
so I don't really need that new classic one. I'll probably get the Alligator Loki just for Bailey, just because she likes that one. Um, Kid Loki, I didn't really care for personally, um, but it's a solid set. Alright, so now I want to talk a little bit about spoilers in the episode and different um, little variations of pops that I, you know, think that, that Funko could make um, for variants of what we might see tomorrow when they announce the actual official wave. I think it's tomorrow at least. Uh, but we're going to go into spoilers from last night's episode. Um, so if you want to skip over this, I'll put a little thing to skip to towards the end um, just so nobody gets spoiled if you haven't seen the episode yet. So guys, jumping into spoilers from last night's episode. That was a really great episode. Me and Bailey watched it um, pretty late last night. It was solid, though. I really, really did enjoy it. Um, Alligator Loki was different. You know, it was kind of funny. You know, Loki's, Loki's like, reaction to Alligator. He was like, wait, that's a Loki, too? This is insane. And the Mobius goes, you could just throw a rock and hit a Loki here. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to see the next episode next week. Um... Craziness, absolute craziness in this episode. We could see a President Loki variant of maybe when the alligator actually bit off his hand. That would be a cool little chase variant. That'd be really neat. Um, they should do him with his open arms or, you know, like welcome or whatever. Um, there was a lot of different Loki variants of pops they could make, but I feel like these four were pretty solid to make just because they were the main four cooler ones. Um, Classic Loki was really cool when he made that... Um, um, when he made Asgard, like he recreated Asgard, which was crazy as an illusion. Absolutely amazing. That was crazy. I've never seen, like he was the strongest Loki to date that I've seen use that much illusion magic. And you know, he was the one that survived Thanos and made an illusion so real that Thanos actually thought he killed Loki. Um, and his story was really sad, but it was really cool as well to see a version of Loki actually survive Thanos, which was neat. Um, then you have the alligator Loki. I don't, I don't really remember his story. I don't really remember how this even happened. Personally, I, I, I think I gotta rewatch the episode. Maybe I missed something with this one. I don't remember them saying what he exactly was or where he came from. Um, then you did have Kid Loki where he, it's a version where he killed Thor, essentially, which was kind of sad. I was like, whoa. Did you guys see that little glimpse um, where Thor was like in a jar trying to reach Mjolnir, trying to punch out? I thought that was cool. It looked really sad and I felt really bad for Thor. Um, but it was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys kind of missed that in the episode, but go back and watch that if you didn't. That's really cool. Um, he was just sitting in like a mason jar trapped in there and Mjolnir, when it, it scrolls by or pans by Mjolnir, you see him over there to the right trying to jump to it. Um, I don't know if he like shrunk Thor or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's another variant of Thor. But for the most part, guys, um, you know, they could make Kid Loki without his dagger or sword or whatever. They could make um, the classic Loki using some illusion magic, um, the gator with maybe some blood on his mouth from biting off Loki's hand, and a chase version of Loki with his hand bit off. I think it was cool that they included like the pant leg kind of being ripped. But for the most part, guys, it was a solid episode. This is a solid lineup of pops. Um, I haven't picked up any of the Loki pops yet. Um, I only own so far are the classic Loki and then I own the in-game Loki but for the most part guys me and Bailey might pick up some I'm not sure where she kind of stands if she wants any of the pops Sylvie I might want a pop of because she's a really cool character still kind of seeing where their relationship's going and I'm really excited to see what happens and uh, who's actually controlling all of this um, you know the TVA and everything like that but for the most part guys if you um, did watch the new episode um, and you guys want to comment your thoughts on it just put a little spoiler warning above that for Loki I'd really appreciate it and I'm sure other people's would um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the latest episode but that's pretty much it for this video guys I just want to talk a little bit about Loki it's really cool um, and I want to talk about a little bit of new pops a lot of Marvel pops really today and some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles some delays and things like that I have a lot of stuff coming soon so if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like down below I'd really appreciate it comment down below what are you most excited about of all the pops I showed off in this video lots of cool things coming I'm very very excited anyways guys I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the channel I really do appreciate and love you guys for it if you guys want to check out the Patreon the link is always down below a lot of cool things going on over there and we'd love to have you we even have a discord uh, for patreon only where we post the news and all kinds of different things over there links and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in that make sure to check out the patreon link down below as well guys as we do have a facebook group it's buy sell and trade and you can make a ton of friends in there and lastly be following my social medias instagram twitter and tiktok all at skittle rampage all right i love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye